I'm going to do the magnetic test. So if you can look here, uh, there are some fields in here. I have to say, if I rotate that, you can see that the Y field changes. We've got 38 there. I go like that. Hmm. So there's some some strong fields in here. Uh, we can't go outside, but I'm going to bring it near to the reactor and we'll see what happens. So on top of the reactor, seems to be varying quite a bit. Uh, let's see if I can get some sense of whether it's coming from there. I don't know, so... I'm going to go down here. It's on the side of the reactor. And on the top of the reactor. Ooh, focus. So, around about zero on the X, 30 on the Y, and sort of coming up to 50 on the Z. Uh, go to here. Let's change it a little. Uh, gonna go a little bit down this end. Oh, it's changing that. Oh, it's going up and down on the X there. See that? It's down to five and then up, and I'm not moving the uh, phone. It's pulsing. Come down this end. So it's not pulsing here. Ryan, come and have a look at this. Um, I'll find your question. Come down here. That's interesting. Okay, so down here by the water input, it's kind of pulsing up and down. It's coming a little bit further down here. Okay. There's no magnet in my hand. Seems to definitely be some sort of pulsing going on here. And it's out of sync with the uh, flow meter. I'm going to rotate the phone. See if uh, what that does. Now it's gone to the Z axis with that phone rotated. It's really strong change. Maybe someone can look at the periodicity on that. So that is the magnetic test. If someone wants me to look at other parts of the reactor, I'm going to slide it along to the middle. Slide it along to here. So it's not really changing so much now there. Why? Now I'm going to put it over the uh, cockroach container. And slide it along further towards the end. So if someone wants me to put it on a particular part of the reactor, 